the human eye anatomy. We're going to start mentioning, in a very brief way, the fundamental eye structures, so that in the future we can add more details that would make us understand the wonderful world of vision. The human eye is a spherical organ with a diameter of 22 to 24 millimeters and weights approximately 8 grams. It's covered by three layers that are very easily identified. The outer layer and the most fibrous layer is composed by the cornea and the sclera. The middle or vascular layer is called uvea. It's composed by the iris, ciliary body and the choroid. And the inner layer, which is very thin and transparent, is called retina. Outer layer, cornea and sclera. The cornea is situated in the most anterior part of the eye and is completely transparent. When we observe an eye, we can see the iris has color and the sclera is white. The cornea is located in front of the iris, but we don't see it because it's transparent. We can visualize it with a special microscope called slit lamp. The sclera is white and opaque and covers the whole posterior surface of the eye. Middle layer or uvea. The word uvea comes from the Latin word uva, which means grape. If we removed the outer layer of a corpus's eye, the middle layer would look like a grape. The iris. The iris is the most anterior part of the uvea and looks like a disc with a hole in the middle the pupil. The color of the eye depends on the iris. The ciliary body. The ciliary body appears as a triangular protrusion. In his most anterior part, it is continued by the iris, and in its posterior part, it's continued by the choroid. Its outer surface is attached to the sclera and its inside to the vitreous. From behind it, also continued by the retina, with a stepped margin called ora serrata. Now, we're going to see all of these structures in a real human eye in some of the pictures that Dr. Sergio Bonafonte made for one of his books called Los Melanomas Uveales, which they were made several editions in Spanish and was translated to Italian. In these pictures, we can see the cornea, iris, ciliary body, pars plana, retina, and in between them, the ora serrata. In this beautiful picture, made from the inside of the eye, we can see the ciliary processes pars plana, retina, and ora serrata. In the external part of the ciliary body, we can find the ciliary muscle, as we can see in this microscopic cut. The choroid. The choroid appears at the back part of the eye, in between the sclera and the retina. Inner layer or retina. The retina, as well as the brain, is made of nervous tissue with a very complex structure. It contains the cells of vision called photoreceptors which capture light and transforms it into nerve impulses. There's lots of other retina cells that modify the impulses and lead them to the brain. In the retina, the blood vessels stand out as well as two other very important parts. The central part of the retina, called macula, where we can achieve the best visual acuity and the optic nerve, papilla, or also called blind spot, where there are no photoreceptors. The lens. The lens is a transparent structure of approximately the length of a lentil, which reverses images and focuses them on the retina. It is located behind the iris and in front of the vitreous, suspended by a system of fibrils called thonula, ranging from the lens to the ciliary body. Eyeball chambers. In the eye, we can identify three chambers. The interior and posterior, made of aqueous humor, and the vitreous chamber, filled with a gel called vitreous humor. The interior chamber is located in between the cornea and the iris. The posterior, in between the iris, ciliary processes, and the lens. The vitreous. The vitreous chamber behind the lens and the ciliary body is surrounded by the retina and filled with a viscous and transparent gel called vitreous humor that looks like egg white.